Note to self, if a cat wants to peel out on your face, don't let it. Hi, I'm Irving, and I have no life, just like you. Irving. Big fat Irving. Big sport Irving. The 142nd fastest gun in the West. Last time, we looked at the first part of Half-Life. Something weird happened. Aliens started popping in all over the place. Soldiers came along and tried to eliminate all witnesses. And Gordon Freeman launched a rocket that was supposed to fix everything. But since the game didn't end, I guess it didn't. Let's pick up where we left off. So, what are we supposed to do next? Who knows? There sure isn't anything or anybody to tell us. Well, only one thing to do, I guess. Start going somewhere and see what happens. There's only one way out of this place, and it's back the way we came. Blood loss detected. What? Where'd that come from? There's nobody there. Okay, let's try this again. Is that a sheer rock face shooting at me? What's going on here? So, I ran over to the right until the shots weren't hitting me anymore. Blood loss detected. What the? There's a gun nest up there? Okay, remember in Hidden and Dangerous how sometimes an enemy could be so tiny you could only just barely make him out and he was still blasting you to pieces? This is even worse. You saw there, I could see nothing. It was solid rock. This thing wasn't visible at all. This is such sorry programming, words fail me. What the frell, people? So, once you either take out or evade this nonsense, you go left and there's now an open corridor. So you take it. You wind around here and there and everywhere and come to a flooded area. Time to swim again. Okay, I'm guessing, and that's all I'm doing, that I need to flood this thing even more so I can get to that ladder up above. But how? For that matter, what am I supposed to be doing? None of this makes even a little bit of sense. Since we fired the rocket, there's no mission, no goal, nothing. So why should I keep playing? I've played some really bad games, but I have never seen anything like this. This freaking game tells you absolutely nothing. I don't mind a puzzle now and then as long as I have an objective. Here I don't. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going or what I'm supposed to do when I get there. What's the goal? Just get out of here? To where? Why? With the rocket launched and the satellite presumably deployed, the threat is over, right? Because the whole idea of launching that thing was to disrupt the field or whatever that's letting these creepy crawlies into our dimension or plane or train or... What was I saying? So, now that that's done, shouldn't we be done? Isn't it Miller time or something? For Pete's sake, game, tell me something! Hey! What's going on here? Once you figure out what direction to go, you encounter this underwater monster. A scientist tells you there's a tranquilizer gun in the shark cage above where the monster is, so you crawl out and get it. Who knows how many shots it takes to put one of these things to sleep because it's hard, no, make that freaking impossible to tell if you hit the blasted thing. But once you knock it out, you follow some underground passages to another place where you battle two more of these things and keep going toward what? I have no clue. We still don't know. Then we come upon this guy. It's cold in there and you'll have to hurry. It could 
could sap your suit power in a matter of moments. If you're bent on reaching the Lambda complex, then you'll want to keep to the older industrial areas where the security system is full of holes. It's worked for me so far. Okay, so on we go. So move, doofus! Hey, I told him to move. No big loss. There's at least a dozen more of him that we've already seen anyway. The hardest part is not having any idea why I'm doing any of this. Where am I going? That guy said I'm still trying to get to Lambda. I thought that was where I fired the rocket. Hello? And since I got the rocket fired, why am I still trying to get there? What am I looking for? Who am I? Where am I? What am I? Ah! So we just keep going through all kinds of weird puzzle areas like this one. Best I can figure, we start these things going up and down and then hop from one to another until we can jump to that catwalk over there. Let's give it a try. As usual, the problem here is the damn controls. In particular, the jump command that works when it bloody well feels like it and no more. This took me a dozen tries and the controls were the reason. If I wasn't overrunning one of the platforms, I was falling off one because the thing didn't jump when I said jump. I really think this game could be excellent if the makers had done a couple of things. First, give me more information! Tell me why I'm swimming under a big chomper thing and hopping onto conveyor belts to nowhere. Tell me what my damn objective is. That way I know there's some purpose to all this crap besides just padding the game out to make it longer. Second, make controls that actually work. Get rid of running as the default movement, fix the jump command for heaven's sake, be consistent for a change. But the more recent games and add-ons haven't done any of that, and yet the games are still wildly popular. Why? You ride conveyor belts all over the place, trying to jump from one to another and face planting every few tries because the stupid movement controls don't work right. But eventually you get somewhere else. Where? I couldn't tell you. Why? Can't tell you that either. But we're encountering soldiers again, and then you find yourself here. And what was the purpose of that? I do not know, Sam I am. But check it out. Suddenly I'm hearing soldiers, and I have exactly one bullet. This is going to be interesting. And now I have a better weapon. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. So your goal is to go into this place Turn on these four laser beam things because they power another one. No, it doesn't make a bit of sense. But it's what you need to do. And it's also you can fire this laser here. What's it do? I have no friggin' clue. You turn it on, a blast shield comes down, it shoots a red beam at the blast shield for a few seconds, and that's that. Your tax dollars at work, folks. <laughs> but your job is actually to move a box and block the blast shield so the laser will blow a hole in the wall. Wait, what? <laughs> you
You jump through the hole in the wall and wander around, going up and down and here and there, and I'm convinced that M.C. Escher designed this place while he was loaded up on LSD. But you make your way past more soldiers and a couple of new monsters and find a room full of scientists. You'll have to shut down the surgical unit first. Peter switched it on, but I'm afraid he never made it back. Wow, that was difficult. Supposedly, these guys are brilliant scientists. But stuff like this makes you wonder who wipes their butts for them because they can't figure out how to do it themselves. So anyway, you get one of them to follow you and he operates a retinal scanner for you. I wouldn't venture there myself, but I will let them know that you are coming. Don't do me no favors. Through some kind of rotating too much pizza and beer nightmare door and you meet yet another soldier. Oh, and there's a couple of turrets on the roof. You also have to blow up these boxes in the tunnel to keep going. Or maybe there's a way over them. I couldn't find one, but I didn't try that hard because I could see they were explosives. So I backed up, fired a few pistol shots at them, and watched the whole mess explode. Too bad I can't do that with the whole game. According to that scientist, you're still trying to get into the Lambda complex. We still don't know what that is or why we're trying to get there, but maybe that's where we'll finally get laid. Or at least get drunk. Or both. More likely neither. Too bad. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about this next section because it's just more padding. Supposedly, killing aliens is the big draw of this game. Well, there's a two hour stretch here where you get to deal with exactly two aliens. The rest of the time you're dealing with soldiers, climbing cliffs for God knows what reason, getting blown to bits by tanks and getting your butt shut off by guys concealed in destroyed buildings that you can't get to. Then you get to this big door that doesn't seem to open. Well, I have a satchel charge. I guess I'll try that and see if it blows the door open. You have got to be kidding me. This time I walk up to it and the stupid thing opens? So I have this satchel charge just sitting there. I can't do anything with it because there's no way to pick it up. So I wound up going through the next door and then just setting it off so I could use another one later if I needed it. From there we have more padding. We go inside a building, work past some trip mines and junk like that, take an elevator down and get to, take a guess, yep. More padding. Oh, and another tank. And I still have no idea what the objective is. Every other game I've ever played, even some of the worst, had a way to check the objective. Not this one. After I fired the rocket, everything else is just random crap as far as I can tell. Hey, if I want to see random crap, I'll watch C-SPAN. <laughs> now it's puzzle time. You go in this building and find this guy who can open this room for you so you can get all this stuff. So then what do you do? Well, believe it or not, you're supposed to climb up this window onto this ledge, follow it around, hop onto a green box, jump to another green box, and then jump from the second green box to a ladder that's hanging down. The only problems are, first, your stupid movement controls that don't give you anything like the finesse you need to climb onto a little ledge. And even if you do manage that, the jump from the second box to the ladder has to be just perfect or you won't catch the ladder. Thus.
again I have to say, what the hell, people? This is supposed to be a game about fighting aliens, not training for the Cirque du Soleil. More convoluted stuff takes you to a helicopter pad where an osprey is dropping bad guys in two-man teams. You take all that down, do a bunch of other meaningless stuff, and then move on to more meaningless stuff. We still don't have a clue why we're doing this, but then you go through a big hallway, finally get to shoot some actual aliens, and you come to something new, a boingy thing. Okay, that was different. You watch a battle between soldiers and aliens in which they all manage to kill each other, and then you go through an air vent that eventually brings you into some kind of mechanic shop. When you get past that and all the bad guys around it, you find yourself in this courtyard with no apparent way out. What to do, what to do? Well, we have this convenient artillery piece here, and it's pointed at that door. Do you suppose that's a hint? Let's find out. One kaboom. Oh look, one of those big alien things. Two kaboom. Hear that? Another one's coming. Three kaboom. Four kaboom. Five kaboom. Are we quite finished? Okay, I guess we can continue then. Seriously, there's no point to any of this because we don't have any kind of known objective. Further on, we find another boingy thing and it puts us on top of a building where we have to immediately drop back down again, get blown up, crawl all over hell, and why? So we can find this guy. Stand back. Hello. Okay, we might live longer if we work again. He opens a door that takes us right back where we started. Why? so we can have him come over here and open another door for us. There's a lot of that in this game, and it's all so humdrum it makes me want to quit and go milk a duck. I can appreciate throwing a bit of puzzle into a game like this now and then, but this one makes a couple of big mistakes. First, there's too much. We get the puzzles at the expense of action and story. Second, it does the same puzzles over and over and over until you want to puke. I know I'm belaboring the point, but what we have here is seriously lazy writing. Couple that with an endless stream of padding and you get Half-Life. So then some other stuff happens. It's boring for the most part. You finally get to the Lambda Corps, whatever that is. You start by riding a truck lift. A what? I have to wonder how many illegal substances went into the design of this place. We still don't know what Lambda is, why they have a core, why we're going there, or why we should care what happens to it. But we get to the bottom and there we are. Now what? I apologize, Mr. Freeman, but I couldn't risk opening that door until I was sure you scoured the area. This is the last entrance to the Lambda complex. Every other has been sealed off to contain the invasion. When we realized that you might actually make it here, we drew straws to see who should stay behind to let you through. Obviously, I drew the short one. My colleagues are waiting at the tip of the Lambda reactor. Waiting for you, I mean. The reactor is shut down right now, but you can activate it on your way up. You'll have to flood the core anyway to get into the teleportation labs. You're not authorized to know about those. But I can see you already know a great deal more than any one man is supposed to. Okay, here's a good question. There's all these bobblehead scientist types standing around with their thumbs up their butts, doing absolutely nothing. Why can't they do this stuff? Why hasn't it been done already? Why is Freeman the only one who can go in a place and flip a damn switch? So much of this game makes no sense at all. 
So you go to a couple of places and flip a couple of switches, then you have to swim through a tunnel to flood some chamber for who knows what reason. But this is the result. Now, here's something that really doesn't make sense. If you go back the way you came, through the underwater tunnel and all that to avoid the electrical nightmare, nothing happens. There's no way to continue the game. You have to go up that ladder, avoid all the lightning and crap, and get to the top and get through the door. Oh, come on! I got through the door! and the electricity follows me and kills me anyway? I've put up with bad guys materializing out of nowhere, usually behind me, inconsistent hit detection with my weapons, idiot NPCs that might or might not follow me when I tell them to, boingy things that don't work right most of the time because I didn't have my whatchamacallit pointed the right direction, and movement controls that keep me running off cliffs, falling off ladders, and all the rest. But this is too much. This game just does not play fair. It screws with the player, constantly changes the rules and the physics of the world it's created, and makes stuff up as it goes along. I still have no idea why it's popular. This is easily the worst game I have ever seen! Okay, let's move on. Eventually, you jump through all the hoops and get this whatever it is going. So now you have to go in this place and use their teleport devices. You know, the ones that guy said you're not supposed to know about. And you didn't until that idiot told you. But now you're supposed to use one. Use it for what? There's still no stated objective. Where the hell is this thing going to teleport me? And why? This is stupid! This is worth showing in some detail. This teleport thing does some weird stuff, and if you can figure out the point of it all, you're doing better than I am. Basically, you have to time your jump so you land on one of those moving things, then figure out which of the three ports will move you up to the next set of moving things where you find more portals. The others take you to weird places and you have to come back to where that guard is. Expect to see him roughly 89 kabillion times because Gordon Freeman is hopelessly in love with him and just can't stand to be away from him. And you have to time your second maneuver so the moving thing is under the green blob or you fall down and break your crown and everything else. At the second level, you have to do the same thing for the third level. This might be an interesting little mini game if I had some idea WHAT THE HELL I'M TRYING TO DO! So after several thousand tries, you finally hit on the right combination and you're on the top level. One more set of ports to go. Mm hmm. This one has crackly stuff going on, so maybe that's a clue that it's the right one. Nope, that wasn't it. Back to the beginning. Once you find the right combination, you end up here. Now what in the hell is this?
So you have to open a couple of doors on that thing in the middle and then jump into it. That takes you here. Raymond, you finally found us. So this is the guy. We thought you'd never make it. This is the supply depot for our first survey team. Quite a few handsome specimens were collected from the border world and brought back this way um, before the survey members started being collected themselves, that is. We suspect there is an immense portal over there created by the intense concentration of a single powerful being. You will know it when you see it. I hate to say this, Gordon, but you must kill it if you can. Yeah, you'd better kill it. Of course, you owe us nothing, Mr. Freeman, but you've come this far. You know as much about these creatures as anyone. Enough to know that if you don't wipe it out, there won't be much for you to come home to. Yes. So, if you're willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. He will open the gates for you, Mr. Freeman. Do hurry. Don't forget to gear up, and I'll cover you while you're waiting for that portal to come up. Oh my god! Did he just give us an objective? No way! This game doesn't give objectives. It just makes you run around like a jackass and do weird stuff that means absolutely nothing. Look at that! An objective! Apparently, all this crap is happening because some giant being is causing a big portal somewhere and their portal can take you there, but this colleague has to kill it or something like that. An objective! Am I dreaming? Ah, crap. So you head into this big room, and as soon as he fires the ding fog up, we get another random new enemy. I really hate these things. They're almost impossible to hit because of the way they move. And I don't know what they're shooting, but it really screws up your vision. So you finally get into position and go into the portal. So, what's this? Well, you have to wander around and get to another portal. That takes you to a place where you have to wander around and get to another portal. That takes you to a place... What the hell is this? We have no less than four portals in a row with absolutely nothing happening story-wise. I've put this off long enough. The words are on the screen. Feel free to sing along. Padding, 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 gotta add some padding. This game is too short, so let's pad. We'll add some stupid missions, ignoring all your bitching, to justify the price you pay. We'll send you off to nowhere, don't ask us why you go there. We don't care if it takes you half a day. Go to there. Get that thing. Get that thing. Bring it back. Bring it back. Go away. Padding. Padding. Talk to him. Talk to her. Talk to her. Talk to them. Him again. All, All this crap, crap is padding. Okay, this looks promising. We have some of those bug shooting things, some of the big pecking monsters, and we have to work our way around some kind of weird maze and stuff. So, are we finally ready for the payoff? Here it is, another portal! Ah! So we go through that and we get to this, whatever this is.
And the payoff here is, brace yourself, yet another portal. I'm not going to inflict any more of this on you. This one takes you to a place where you jump across a bunch of rocks and find yet another one. That's at least six of these things in a row, each one leading us nowhere and just making the whole thing drag out to an impossible degree. I really don't understand what's going on here. By now we've completely forgotten the mission that the last set of bobbleheads sent us on. Looking back, we're supposed to find the one monster to rule them all who's apparently still causing all this mess and take it out. The first time I played this, the sound was so wonky I didn't even know that. I was just trying to get to the end of the stupid game and see if anything was ever explained. This time, I got past all these lame-ass portals and padding and stuff, and I knew what to expect. Oh my god, it's the Star Child from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Well, you could tell by the end of the movie that he was going to cause trouble, and here it is, folks. A bunch of gyrations and weird crap, and you end up destroying this thing's brain one of the many times its head opens up. It's boring. It's repetitive. The physics make no sense at all. So once you destroy it, you get the big payoff. Gordon Freeman in the flesh, or rather in the hazard suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. The border world, Zen, is in our control for the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. Who the hell is this guy? He's able to transport you all kinds of weird places while he explains uh, nothing, really. But this is why he's here. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anticlimax after what you've just survived. Time to choose. So if you take his offer and go into the portal, you get the ending credits. If you refuse, he closes the door, you're transported to a big place with lots of weird looking monsters and the ending credits. That's it? He promised a battle. Now somebody around here promised me a woman. But you don't get to fight it? What the hell? So really, there's no payoff at all. The ending just falls flat. I guess it's supposed to be a teaser for the next game, but really, it just leaves you feeling like, what the hell was all that? None of it makes sense. And if you refuse the offer, presumably it's game over, those monsters will kill you for good. Mr. Whatever pretty much told you that, so that means that there is no next game. I still don't get it. This game is awful. The controls suck rocks. The graphics have maybe three people that are reused over and over and over. The aliens are predictable and boring, and the final boss is a ripoff of one of the more psychedelic movies ever made. Why is it so popular? Several people have said that they love it for the story. What story? There isn't any. You have two stages. Fire the rocket and kill the star child. The rest is filler. There's no story whatsoever. So again, 
Why the raging popularity? The only thing I can come up with is nostalgia. A lot of the people who like this game grew up playing this sort of thing, and it's true that Half-Life broke a lot of new ground with its 3D graphics, seeing the story entirely from the main character's point of view, and that sort of thing. But that doesn't excuse the glaring flaws that make it pretty much unplayable. If it reminds you of your childhood, fine. Enjoy it and overlook what a god-awful mess it is. But if you're like me and only recently got heavily into gaming, this thing will frustrate you to no end. Trust me, it's not worth the elevated blood pressure. I've asked several fans why they like it so much, and the only real answer I've gotten is, you get to kill aliens. If you're a regular watcher, you've probably figured out that there are certain expressions that I avoid using, even though they sometimes pop up in the games I review. Well, I won't make an exception, it's just a decision I've made. However, I think I can say this effectively in a sort of sign language. The appeal of this game is, you get to kill aliens. The worst part is, the mechanics and control issues carry over into Half-Life 2 on the Xbox 360. I had just as much trouble with that one as I had with this one, and the story there makes even less sense than this one does. And I'm not even going to talk about all the weird add-ons for both games that are nothing but more of the same. I seriously considered not doing a review of Half-Life 2 or the add-ons. When you've seen one, you've seen them all. But there are a few things I want to talk about in Half-Life 2, so I'll bite the bullet and do that next time. However distasteful the idea is. Until then, I'm Irving, and I have no life, just like you. Well, finally, Irving got three slugs in the belly. It was right outside the Frontier Deli. <laughs> he was sitting there twirling his gun around, and Butterfingers Irving gunned himself down. <laughs> Irving. Big fat Irving. Big dum dum Irving. Big Dum Dum Dead Irving, the 142nd fastest gun in the West.